Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for you to write an introduction for your essay. And let's talk about introduction. There's really nothing to worry about. In an introduction, let's talk about some of the things you're not going to do before we talk about the things you are going to do. One, you are not going to tell people what you are about to tell them. In other words, you don't say, in this essay, I will show you that fear causes people to act negatively. Don't tell people what you're going to do. Just do it. So in other words, you want to use it as statements of fact rather than belief. So you don't say, in this essay, I'm going to show you that fear causes people to act negatively. You're just going to say it as a statement of fact. Are you ready? Fear causes people to act negatively and sometimes do dumb things. That's it. Not I believe it, not I'm going to show you this, just that it is a fact. Fear causes people to do dumb and stupid things. And then the rest of the essay, you're going to prove that with facts and quotes and all sorts of other things. Maybe uh, stories from your life or stories from other people's lives that you borrowed. So again, no saying what you're going to do or what people should expect that they're going to do. In this essay, you're going to learn that fear is, no, just Fear causes people to act negatively. So that's the first thing. Now, another thing you want to not do is you don't want to start off the introduction with your thesis statement. So you don't want to start off your paper by saying fear causes people to act negatively. No, no, no. That should be the last sentence of your introduction. And what you want to do is you want to talk about the topic fear in big, broad, general, dynamic ways. In other words, to start talking about fear in general. You could do anything with fear. You could start off by saying fear is something that everybody feels. Children feel it, adults feel it. That's one way you could go. You can go another way. Fear is an important part of everybody's life. And then talk about it. You can talk about the fact that fear causes people, I mean, that fear is a good thing or a bad thing. You can ask a question. Why do people feel fear? And then go throughout time. Human beings have always felt fear. And this is sometimes a good thing and this is sometimes a bad thing. You can start off a list. You can say fear is a powerful emotion that has a ton of repercussions on people. Some of those repercussions are sweating, shaking, uh, dying of fright, heart attacks, right? And then you finish it off by saying one of the things that fear causes people to do is do dumb or stupid things. Boom. So again, you never want to start with your thesis statement, right? You want to talk about the subject in general. So let's talk about something. Let's say my essay is that baseball is the best sport, right? I actually believe that. You might not. So I'm not going to say, I believe that baseball is the best sport, or at the end of this paper, you're going to see that baseball. I'm just going to start off the sentence by the, the paper by or my thesis at the end of the major paragraph, the, the, the introductory paragraph is going to say baseball is the best sport. But what do I talk about before I get down to that? Let's funnel it down to baseball. Let's start off by saying since the beginning of time, human beings have loved to compete against each other. Boom. And then I start talking about that from um, games that they played thousands of years ago to the Olympics. Um, and then I funnel it down. One of the forms of competition, one of the games that people have developed over the course of time is baseball. And baseball is by far the best sport for many reasons. And then you stop your essay right there, right? I might, in my Next body paragraph, I might say one of the main reasons why baseball is the best sport is because of all the tradition surrounding it. And then I would you know, consider the following quote from Baseball Weekly. This quote clearly shows, and then I would describe it for a minute. My next paragraph, another reason why baseball is the best sport is because it's so cheap to play and everybody can play it from all walks of life at all ages. Right? You don't have to be a millionaire to play it. And then I would go down, I would consider the following quote, and I would give it good. And then I might do another body paragraph explaining it. Let's continue. Let's do another topic. Let's say I want to say that video games are a great way to spend your free time. Right? 
I don't start off. That's my thesis. So I don't start off my paragraph talking about video games. Why don't I start off my introductory paragraph and about just the fact that people, human beings, need things to do to keep them busy or they go crazy. And over the course of time, human beings have developed lots of different things that can keep them busy, right? They, they've developed outdoor activities. Um, there's reading. There's writing. There's plays. There's television. However, and then I would finish my introduction after talking about the fact that humans have this need to do something for entertainment, I would finish by saying the best form of entertainment that people have ever come up with would be video games. And there are many reasons why I believe, why, not why I believe this, there are many reasons why this is true. Period. End of the introductory paragraph. Then you start your body paragraph. I mean, your first body paragraph by saying the first and most important reason why video games are an excellent way to spend your free time is because. And then you say, I don't know. You you learn great hand to eye coordination, right? Boom. And you talk a period, a whole paragraph about that. Next paragraph. Another excellent reason why video games should be played by people and are a good source of using your free time is because you know it brings people together. Right. Um, the whole forums of people get together. Another reason, another paragraph might be about that. It brings out people's competitive spirits. Boom. You can come up with any reasons you want. Just say them as statements of fact. Let's talk about fear. Well, I guess I did kind of talk about fear, but I can do it again. Fear makes people do dumb or stupid things and affects them negatively. Right. That's my final my final statement, my final thesis, my final sentence of my introductory paragraph. So, again, I would talk about fear. Being a huge part of everybody's life, just start off by that fear is a huge part of everybody's life. Fear is an emotion that you cannot escape. Fear is something that is very good because it keeps people from getting burned, falling off cliffs, driving too fast, you know, smoking cigarettes, doing drugs or whatnot because you're afraid you're going to get addicted or die because you do it. So fear is actually a great thing, right? Funnel that down. That fear is a great thing. Everybody feels it. It's something you can't escape to the fact that and one, one of the side effects of fear is that it causes people to do dumb things or it negatively affects them. Done. The first sentence of your body paragraph would be one of the main reasons why fear makes people do dumb or stupid things is because, blank, and then I go on. I can say an excellent place that this can be seen, by the way, is a good thing I can say in my introductory paragraph. One of the places that you can see fear doing negative things to people or causing them to do dumb things is in short stories and in literature. Another place would be in real life or in movies or films, period. And then in my body paragraphs, I develop these ideas. Let me show you something very quickly. Allow me to present this to you right now. Okay, take a look at this. These are some helpful hints, a lot of the same things that I just talked about, and you will have this with you, so please take a look at this. So the essay introduction, you wanna do the funnel method. If you're talking about whatever topic you're talking about, you don't wanna talk directly about it, you wanna to try to open it up into a bigger idea. For example, if your essay topic was the fact that Remote learning is not as good as in-school learning, right? Rather than talk about remote learning or in-school learning in the beginning of your introduction, just talk about the fact that over the history of time, people have found different ways to educate and themselves and to learn. And, you know, whether it's through reading and writing or going on experiences or going on trips or just living, learning is something that we always do. Then you might break it down to the fact that there are different ways that you can learn. And clearly, the best way to learn is in in-class procedures, right? Going to school with other people. And there are many reasons why that is true. Now, in your introduction, you don't give any quotes and you don't give any real facts. You just say that there are many reasons why this is true. By the way, don't say in my paper, you will see all these things. Just say that it's so, and then you'll see, as you're reading, as you're going on, you will then tell people in the form of facts rather than in this paper you have learned or in this paragraph I will describe to you. Don't tell it, just do it. So let's continue. 
Okay, so start your paper off with a few sentences talking about the big picture regarding your topic. Remember, the unit one essay topic is that fear makes people do crazy or dumb things or affects them negatively. First, talk about fear in general, that it affects everybody. That's a good thing as well as a bad thing. Maybe make a list of some of the things it does to people. Then funnel your ideas down to your thesis statement that one thing it does to most people is make them do irrational or dumb things or negatively affects them. Perfect, let's continue. No quotes in your introduction. We don't want any quotes in your introduction. Save your quotes for your body paragraphs. What I like to say is one quote per body paragraph. So if you have to write a five paragraph essay, you need three quotes. You have your introduction that has no quotes. You just talk about the main idea in a general way, funnel it down to your thesis statement. Your first body paragraph, you give your first and strongest quote. The second body paragraph, you give your second strongest quote. And your third paragraph, you give your third strongest quote that supports this. In your conclusion, then you conclude it all up. And I'll teach you that in another, another video. We'll do conclusion. Let's just worry about introduction today. So again, no quotes in your introduction. Just, just the big picture, the big idea that you're funneling down. Next, no major details from your various sources to strengthen your paper, just your main ideas. You'll go into specific detail in the body of your essay. Now, again, you can, in the, in the introduction, explain that you can see the phenomenon of fear affecting people negatively in many places, TV shows, books, short stories, movies, real life situations, um, even in history, you can see these things, right? Okay. Um, lastly, and here's a couple things you don't want to do. Please don't do these things. Do not describe what you're going to do in the essay. Don't say in this paper, you will learn. Don't say in this essay, I will show you. See, take a look at this example. Look at the bottom. It says, I believe, don't say this. Don't say, I believe that fear negatively affects people in many ways. Don't say, I believe it. Say it as a fact. Say, fear affects people negatively in many ways. And then the rest of the essay, you're going to prove that to me. Okay? So again, do not describe what you're going to do. Just say it as fact. Don't say, I believe video games are a great thing for all kids to play. No, no, no. Say, video games are a great thing for all kids to play. Boom. And then the rest of the essay, you're going to explain why with facts, details, quotes and examples. Excellent, guys and gals. Again, your introduction, regardless of what you're talking about, don't be too specific. Save your specifics for the body of the paragraph. I'm going to give one last example. No, I guess I kind of gave all the examples. I talked about video games. I talked about fear. Uh, I, I talked about learning at home versus in school. Again, Big picture item, funnel it down. The last sentence of your introduction should be your thesis statement. Very well done, everybody. Excellent job. And I'm gonna tell you now, writing seems a lot harder than it actually is. You just have to get started, right? Go out there, sit down and just start writing. You're gonna find oftentimes that once you, once you start writing, it just kind of flows from there. So go back over, if you have any questions about how you write the introduction, look through my list of your do's and do nots, and you will do fantastic. Have a lovely day.